Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's video is my husband picks my makeup. So you're gonna see here in a second, I kind of laid everything out in categories and just told him, hey, come in here real quick, pick one of each category. And for the most part, I don't even know what he picked because I was kind of trying to focus on getting the shot um, in the camera range, um, which I didn't do a great job of, I don't think, but <laughs> you'll see what I got. Um, and the only thing that I know for sure that he picked was the eyeshadow palette, which is one that I have used before here on my channel. I was really hoping that he would pick the Emily Edit palette, but um, I'm really wanting to play around with it. But I will be doing a dedicated video on that palette, showing you some looks and everything. So if you're not, that is coming probably the week that we are home. But I thought that this would be a really fun video. I've seen a ton of people do various... Um, iterations of it. So let's get into mine. You'll see kind of how I set it up and you'll see him picking the makeup and then we will come right so back I in. I kind of gathered all my stuff up into categories to make it easier for him. So I've got setting sprays, um, foundations, we've got lips over here, and then I've got primers, bronzer, contour, highlight, um, concealer, blush, mascara, and then eyeshadow palette. Just real quick before we start, there are a couple categories of products that I really only have one um, item of that I use. So I didn't have him like pick that because it was just, it's going to be that or nothing. So in terms of face powders, I always set my under eye with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And I always kind of go all over my face with the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. So I will be using those. I only have one corrector, which is the Dark Circle Corrector from NYX, so I'm going to use this. I only have one eyebrow pencil and one eyebrow gel kind of thingy, so I'm going to use the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer for pencil and the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in Blonde for my gel kind of thing. And my eye primer is always the Ulta Nude Matte Eye Primer, but everything else he chose and for the most part I have no idea what he chose so I hope he didn't do me too dirty because there are things in each category where I'm kind of like for the most part yeah each category had things that I really really love and things that I'm not that hype about so let's see I think I will like reveal them reveal them <laughs> reveal them to you as we go um, but I'm going to kind of set them out here so that I can kind of get them prepared for me Ooh, in terms of what I need to use first. I'm seeing, <laughs> seeing some things in here. You know what, for the most part, hmm, for the most part he chose things that I actually do like, which is funny because he does not know anything about my makeup preferences. He really, like, <laughs> I could show him an eyeshadow palette and he's like, is that foundation like he just does not know anything about makeup so there are some things I don't, I don't know and then there are a lot of things that I do like in here so let's hope that we can get an overall really good look with this so the primer that he chose is the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer so we are going to go in with that and hope for the best I don't love love this primer I feel like because there's a whole story with this, but basically I got it for free by accident. Um, but if I had actually purchased this on my own, no way. I don't feel like it's worth it at all. Um, I don't feel like it's that blurring, but it is quite smoothing because it is extremely silicone-y. Silicone-y. Coney dog. Oh, I can't think about food right now. I'm so full. We had pizza and then... Um, I took a nap because I was so tired and I feel like now this eye is like very bloodshot from it, but get that on my under eyes. Um, I had some coffee, so I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm also filming on my new Note 9. You guys tell me, does the video quality seem different? I'm not filming in 4K right now. Um, 
because <laughs> I need to figure out like how I would import it and everything. But um, looking into the, the viewfinder right here, the screen, the quality looks wow. <laughs> like I can see from here so many fine lines and pores and stuff, which is terrifying. Um, <laughs> so the quality seems really good. Um, just looking at it here. So I'm kind of intrigued to see what it will look like whenever I do put it into Final Cut. So the foundation that we're using is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. I have mine in the color 30 Ivory Beige. I do like this. I think it looks okay on my skin, but you guys know I just am really loving a powder foundation for the past several months. So, you know, we can make it work. I am going to kind of just shorten each sequence a little bit since it's not really much of a tutorial. We're just kind of seeing what look we get. Um, that way this isn't like hopefully not a 20 minute long video. So we'll go ahead and get this on and see. Good gracious, it's thick. Oh, this is very thick. The color match is pretty good for me. It might even be a little bit light. Ooh, okay, so we have um, our foundation on and I went ahead and put my corrector on. This is definitely a like medium, light to medium foundation. You can see I put three layers on here and you can just still totally see it. It did for the most part cover up here and a little bit here, but you can just still see everything through it. So it's definitely a foundation that you need to use um, whenever you have really good skin or not a whole lot of issues that you want to cover up. Now going into, where's my little sponge? The concealer that he chose is one that I actually haven't been able to use yet on like a full face. So I'm kind of excited. It is the Makeup Revolution. You can't even see that. Um, Conceal and Define. It's that one that everybody <sighs> went for whenever Tarte Shape Tape was canceled. Um, here's the thing. I got mine in C3 um, because the other ones looked like way too light, but this, it's supposed to be like cool or neutral or something like that, but I feel like it looks kind of yellowy. So we'll see how that goes because uh, I don't know how it's going to look at this moment in time. I don't want to go too overboard with it. We'll see how well it covers because um, my dark circles are pretty bad today. So let's see about that. Okay, so there is that on and um, WTF. WTF. Same thing as sharp, sharp tape, <laughs> shape tape for me. I just feel like it did not cover very well the shape tape and I feel the same about this. Um, it's supposed to be full coverage, but I can 100% see my dark circles. So I don't love it, <laughs> but, um, oh God, it does not, like, I wonder if you'll be able to see, it does not look good right here, um, what the actual F, <sighs> wow, I don't like how that looks, I don't like how it's setting on my skin, oh, Let's just, let's cover up that situation right quick and see if the powder will help at all. Because that looks very patchy and textury. And I mean, granted, I, what the? Okay, well that's new. Um, it, I don't know why it just went blurry like that, but <laughs> I don't like how that looks. I do have like, you know, some like kind of crepey type of skin under my eyes, but that is not a good look. And this, oh, this foundation, I don't know if you can see right here. It's like kind of crusty looking here. <laughs> We're not loving it so far. You know, I feel like also though, it could be just my skin right now needs a lot more of like um hydration type of primer um i'm going in with that laura mercier powder now to kind of set all over um to make my skin look decent with um foundations 
So I didn't really have much of a hydrating primer to use, but I, I, whew, I don't like how that looks so far. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Thanks. It's not his fault, though. He doesn't really know my preferences. And it wouldn't be a fair video, probably, if he did, because then he would just choose things that I like. Um, and you'd basically see me put on the exact same stuff that I always put on. So moving right along, what's next? Um, we will do bronzer. That's what I would normally do. So we're going to go in with my Bare Minerals um, Invisible Bronze. Love this bronzer. It's probably my favorite of the moment. And his choices were pretty much this and Laguna, which I do like, and then Hula, which I don't like. So two out of three, <laughs> I had pretty good odds that it was going to work out decently. Even though I went really heavy with that, I just, oh, I love this bronzer. Absolutely love it. Whenever I don't go crazy, it looks really good. Um, it also doesn't help that I can't really see out of this eye right now. <laughs> I think I irritated a little bit with the um, beauty blender thingy. So anyway, moving along, let's do some highlight or should uh, we'll do the eyeshadow next and then do blush and highlight and all that. So I'm going to prime my eyes. So here's the eyeshadow palette that he chose. It is the Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air. I do like this palette. It's supposed to be a dupe for Modern Renaissance, which I do not own. So I can't tell you if that's true or not, but it does look similar, but not completely the same. So I'm just going to set all over my primer with this shade. So I think I want to do something... purpley for sure. So I'm going to go into the transition shade, the kind of cooler toned one. And then I'm going to go into, um, oh, we're going to use this kind of mid-toned mauve color. And then I'm going to go into this one and then we'll put a little bit of this on the lid. So let's put that on magenta e color <laughs> on the outer and inner parts of the lid. So oh, there's that and then we're going to pop this um, kind of champagne gold color right on the lid. So that's what we got there and then I'm just going to take um, the transition shade I think and then this one just run it kind of along the lower lash line. So there is um, that. And for highlight, I'm just gonna use my face highlight, um, which we will go into right now. Let's see. So the highlight that he chose is the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle. I do really like this highlight. I think it's nice and pretty and soft and subtle, but a little bit still glowy and punchy. Nice and glowy and pink, but not too much. That's quite a bit, but that's fine because I will connect it. So then I'm going to take this brush and go into the cheeks. Ooh, I think I got a little bit too much on there that time. And then for the blush that he chose, he chose the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted in Fantastical. This is a really, really pretty kind of like golden, corally shift shade. Wow, look at that. Okay, so see how there's this little logo here? This has been sitting out on my desk, and I guess, you know, sun like comes in through there, through the window. Look at this. <laughs> it's almost like it has a little suntan all around, but anyway. Let's go in with this, with my favorite blush brush. Oh my god, what is up with my blush application lately? It is like always too much lately. Always. That's okay though, we'll take a little bit away um, with another brush. <laughs> Slightly better. Slightly. That's okay, I'm not going anywhere after this, so that's fine. It's weird because on camera it looks nice and even right here. Well, in person, and it looks nice and even right here. But on camera, I feel like it, it just ends right here, but that's not what it looks like in person. So that's weird, but regardless, moving right along. 
Um, I'm going to do my brows off camera. Okay, so brows are done. I'm going to do setting spray and then I will do my lashes um, and then lips so I don't want to get those wet. So we're going to do setting spray first. He chose the Too Faced Peach Mist Mattifying Setting Spray. I don't like this product mainly because the pump stopped working really well and it doesn't exactly make my skin look really nice. Um, I feel like even though I'm oily lately, I just really need a more at least hydrating, if not luminous or dewy setting spray just because of the texture on my skin. But we're going to use this today. <laughs> See the pump? It, you have to pull it up each time. And then the mascara that he chose is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. I do have a review video for this along with two other Essence mascaras at the same time. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's a solid mascara. All right, so there we have the um, mascara on. And then for the last item that he chose, uh, the lip. This is one that I really, really like. It is one of my faves. It is the Physician's Formula Healthy Lip in All Natural Nude. So let's get nude. Dish. So there is the completed look. Um, I think that he did really well actually with picking things that would coordinate well together um, without really knowing <laughs> that he was doing that. So um, I really like it. I would actually wear this eye look again. Um, what do we think? How did he do? Let me know down in the comments. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys next time. Bye. Babe, 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 come here. What? How do you think you did? How did it turn out? It looks out? good. That's what you got to say? Yeah. Why? Okay.